Hey y'all, welcome to the Chroma side of YouTube. My channel is called Chroma Storm Arts, and I invite you to have fun with me and play and experiment and have a good time watching because I'm doing all of those things as well. Please feel free if you enjoy what you see to visit my website www.chromastormarts.com. Have a wonderful time and just be inspired. Thank you. Hey guys. So, um, in this video, I want to pour on a picture frame. And it's it's a small picture frame, so um, it is actually a five by seven. So I've got my little solo shot cups. And um, those are gonna be my dirty cups. Because I was just gonna do one but I don't, I don't know if that's going to be enough paint. I'm still really bad at judging it. But, like I said in previous videos, you guys, I did get my condiment cups. And what I did was earlier, in previous uh, videos, uh, I told you guys I don't like to mix, pre-mix colors. Um, because I only pour on the weekends. So what I did was I did... I got these little condiment cups and you know what let me grab one out so I can show you guys how big they are um, ta -da. just just about mm, that big if you want to see in reference to my thumb and um, they are actually perfect for mixing a small amount of a color which I doubt I'll end up using all these I'll probably use those in a different thing but I what I did wrote the brand of the paint Boop. I wrote the brand of the paint on the top I have Dollar and Ronnie Liquitex Basics Master's Touch Liquitex Basics and Apple Bottom uh, not Apple Bottom <laughs> Will Black he always gets me with that I laugh every time he says it because I literally think that too um, Apple Barrel Mixed White up. now on the side of the cup I have the name of it, which this one is Dollar and Ronnie Deep Purple. It is mixed with Floetrol and a few drops of water. And then on the other side, I have whether it is opaque, transparent, or semi-transparent. This one is a semi-transparent color. Master's Touch SA512 Light Purple. Floetrol and water. This one is an opaque color. Apple Barrel White, I have no idea if it's opaque or transparent. I'm assuming that is an opaque, it is an opaque color because it's a craft paint. And, um, yeah, I'm, but assumptions pave the road, you know. Anywho, Liquitex Basics in gold mixed with Floetrol, no water, no water in this one. This one was very runny when I poured it out of the tube. So I didn't think I need water, but I will check the consistency on this one before I pour. And it is an opaque color. Last but not least, now this thing, this, this tube told me this was uh, a crimson color. To me, it looks pink. It's called Azillarian. These are my paints. Now, I'm going to show you this frame. This guy is the hardware. I thought this was kind of crazy. I got this, these, if you go in the back of Tuesday morning, you will always find frames on sale. But this is the hardware for this. It didn't have those little doohickeys that slide round and round to hold the back end. It had this guy on there, and I just kind of gently pulled him off. But he pushes out and holds the back piece into the frame. So, if I can't get this back on to work properly, I'm just going to end up gluing the frame together because I doubt it, it's going to become a piece of art. I'm probably not going to do that. But this is what I'm going to pour on to. That's the hardware, and I'm going to move this over here on top of my tacks because I don't want to lose it. But I am going to show you what the frame looked like when I picked it out because I thought it was quite pretty. 
put this guy in there. How pretty is that? And the sides are actually really, really shiny. They kind of look like that tortoise shell. So I thought that a purple, dark purple and gold and pink would be pretty in this frame as a, as a cute little gift. I don't know who I'm going to give it to yet. But my family, my friends, they all know when I say I did a, a gift pour, someone's getting a pour. <laughs> So I did take the time to wrap this back part because I really don't want paint all over the back. It, it's, I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to put paint on the back. It's kind of felty. And I missed a few spots with my, my tape, but I mean, you can't be perfect. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever poured on something that like this. So why not? Why not do it on camera? Because I believe in showing people what you've done and what not to do. All right. And another thing I wanted to show you guys was these are the sticks that I used to mix all of my paints pre-mix. So I, I basically, when I was mixing them, um, I strain my paints. Let me, let me, I'm going to show Rewind. Let me let me cover this guy back up because I don't want to spill him by accident. Put him over there. I'm gonna show you guys that. Get off my awesome new stool. My baby got me a new stool to sit on, you guys. Okay, this is my bucket. I sit it right there, and how I mix my paint is uh, this is my flow trough. You always shake your flow trawl and then you pour it. But a lot of times, especially if I buy my flow trawl in bulk, so a lot of times, I don't know if it's like settlement or what, but you get clumps in your flow trawl. So Will Black on his channel said, go to the dollar store and get a bunch of these. So I took his advice and started doing that. And then I put a big old mixing bowl that I don't use and I put water in it and I sit it here and then I sit out my cups and I just sit it here and go boop, boop, boop. And I pour my flow trough through there and it collects tons of clumpage, you guys. And then I just shake it around in my water, sit it aside and then mix all my colors. And then when I get done mixing all my colors, like I'll use a stick or something for a color and then I rinse it off wipe it off on a towel, a paper towel, and I sit it in this cup to dry, and then I am free to reuse these craft sticks. So I can get about three or four uses out of this many craft sticks, as opposed to just tossing them in the trash can, which is kind of a money saver. I mean, yeah, I get it. A hundred craft sticks is like 10 cents, but, and I'm exaggerating pricing there, but, you know, that's just the way it goes. I like to reuse things from time to time. So, let me grab... Let me grab out me some craft sticks, y'all. I think I'm going to put a random dot of silicone in these pores as I go. Do I want to do that like that? Nope, I don't want to do it like that. I'll just put it in the white. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the white, and then I'll mark on the cup that I have silicone in there. All right. Sharpie. Silicone. I'm gently moving around. Actually, when I say gently, um, what I'm really doing is I am uh, one of my little hairs. You're free, little hair. I'm just putting it down and moving it around and around. I'm not like beating eggs or stirring because I really don't want air bubbles. I actually just dried up all the air bubbles out of them by letting them sit.
Let me check the consistency on this guy right here. I think he's good. I was planning on doing white in between each layer, but I think I kind of want to do gold in between each layer. Yeah, see, I'm definitely not going to use all this paint, which is okay. And one more go with the white. I don't have enough in this cup, it's not the same. Okay, that makes me happy. All right, I almost wanna just go ahead and pour it all in there. Should I, there's not a lot left. Yep, let's just do it. Pour half of it in this one, and pour the last of it in this one. What I'll end up doing is I'll use the same recipe and remix it in this cup. And that will work out just fine. I'll see how many how many uses I get out of those cups. So I'm gonna move this guy because I don't want to get paint all over that. Go ahead and cap up my silicone. Drop him behind my desk. I'll have to get him. Move this guy. I am the clumsiest person in the world. If you ever were to meet my family and ask them, you would they would tell you without a shadow of a doubt, I am the clumsiest person in the world. So I am paranoid about all that. I'm just gonna do this. should have gessoed this guy before I did this. Oh well, you live and learn. You live and you learn. Kind of cool.
so sorry for getting quiet on y'all guys, but this turned out a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna. So I am, I'm holding about six inches above the painting and I'm just letting the heat cascade down. Just slowly making some passes to see what what happens. I love how the gold laces through some, some of these places and I'm going to show you my favorite part, but right now I just really want to get close to it. Sorry if you can see my head. Dude, I have a couple of favorite parts, honestly. Okay, well. I am going to... What am I going to do right now? I want to move my torch out of the way. I actually really, 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 really want to pour whatever's left out of that, those cups. So, I want to pour them onto where it is, um, what is this called? The runoff? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my dimethicone over. And then later, I'm going to dig out my silicone that I just dropped behind my desk. move you I want to move you out of the way there we go I'm just making sure that my painting is even and that I'm not going to get wobbly bits. If I really like what we come up come up with from this uh, runoff, totally gonna try and save it by way of cutting out the plastic. Just trying to see if I can't make something interesting. Sometimes you get something interesting naturally, sometimes you don't. How do I want to do this? Oh, why am I trying to figure out how to do it with a thing when I have a palette knife right here? Okay guys, I'm definitely gonna try and save this runoff.
All right, now, first things first, let me try and straighten out the plastic. I didn't even have to torch it, folks. I did not even have to torch it. I'm so excited right now. I can't even, ooh. Make sure that there's no wet paint or... Okay, guys, here is the runoff. I'm trying to get you closer and then get my iPad to focus. Look at those cells in the runoff. I know you guys are like, why are you showing me runoff first? But... Check it out. I mean, I'm totally going to make some jewelry out of this stuff. I don't have any purple jewelry yet. But this is my favorite part. It's beautiful. Now let's go over here and look at this painting. Look at how big those cells are. They're huge. And then we have little cells over here. This is, you know, you guys know how I feel about dark cells in light, shiny colors. I love it. All right, let me put you back. Well, there you have it. Um, I poured on the back of a frame, and the best part about this is, when it dries, if I can remove the paint, painter's tape properly, I'm super excited to see how this is gonna um, end up looking. But when it dries, I am going to make sure that everything's removed properly and everything. I'm gonna pop it in this frame, and I probably, I don't know if I'm going to varnish or not. It all depends on how the paint looks behind the glass. Anyway, I had super, super awesome fun doing this. So, um, give me that thumbs up, you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you my beautiful picture frame all completed. That is all put together with the glass in. There you go. So this was the piece we painted. I put the hardware back on. So I just painted the back piece and left this as a, a hole. And when I got done painting, I just slipped it right into the frame. And it can be set like this. Or it could be set like this. It's kind of cool, huh? Nifty little crafty project that you can do with one of your pores. And you don't have, it goes to show that you really just don't have to pour on canvas if you don't want to. Okay guys, there you have it. I don't know what I'm going to call this one, but it's beautiful. Uh, I love it, the fact that it has the border around it now. Anyway, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. And I'll see y'all next time. Oh, by the way, you might want to subscribe too. Bye y'all. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.